I want to create a, an atmosphere for high school folks that is energetic, that is uh, fun at the same time, that is uh, an alternative to whatever they might be involved in. We want them to be able to come to the farmhouse where we, where we put this on every week. We want them to be able to come out to the farmhouse and just simply hang out, you know, and be a high school kid, you know, do high school things. And uh, we hope that they would take part in this experience along with us. Um, it's a quest, if you will, a journey, a long, long journey, but one that has a reward at the end of the road. Fifth quarter uh, basically is an alternative to the uh, regular party scene here. We just want to provide a safe, fun alternative uh, to kids on a Friday night. It's a really good time and uh, we have some really good, clean fun. When we started fifth quarter, we had the idea just to uh, do it on home game nights. Uh, fifth quarter, meaning there's four quarters in a ball game. We we're going to do it after the ball game, which would be a fifth quarter. But then we talked to a Young Life area director in Johnson City and found out that we could make uh, the fifth quarter a satellite um, division of the Johnson City Young Life chapter. And Young Life is just a, it's like, it's similar to Fifth Quarter. It's an organization that provides a, um, an outlet for teenagers going to high school. And so we hopefully will get a, start, this, start a Young Life chapter in a, in a few months. And now. And now. Scream it. That was weak. <laughs> and now. And now. It's time. It's, it's time. time. For. For. The Fifth Quarter. The Fifth Quarter. historical uh, metaphors, if you will, with uh, Young Life slash Fifth Quarter in the past. Uh, did some work in Charlotte, uh, did some work crew weekends at, at a place called Windy Gap, which we're going in a week or so. Uh, um, led a youth group in Charlotte, and then now I'm doing this in Boone, the, the rocking town of Boone. Sometimes I really like to punch Scott Stewart in the face real hard. Um, when I was in ninth grade, I met a guy named Mike Gatliff, and he was a Young Life leader from a Charlotte Country Day, which is a school I went to. And he really invested in my life for four years, it really uh, changed who I am. I was in the heavy partying scene and probably wouldn't be here today without him. And uh, when he moved away when I came to college, and uh, I really realized what I'd been missing. And I just really want to invest in some other kid's life what he invested in mine. And so that's why I'm here doing the fifth quarter. The purpose of fifth quarter is. Uh, is to reach out to, to high school kids that haven't been reached out to before. Um, our purpose is to, is to somehow set a Christian role model view, if that makes any sense, on the high school person. Um, we feel like uh, we want the high school person to see Jesus as an exciting person, um, not some good teacher, you know, guy that walked around 2,000 years ago. We want the high school person to see Jesus is someone who just enjoyed life, enjoyed life to the fullest. And we want those kids uh, to enjoy life through Jesus. That's our, and that's our goal, to get kids into Jesus, plugged in, if you will. We also want Fifth Quarter to, to be an alternative to, say, the partying scene um, that high schoolers go through. Um, we know that alcohol is abused. I mean, that's a fact. You know, I, all high school students go through that. Um, and we just kind of want to give kids, you know, high school students another alternative, you know, where they don't have to go to parties where folks are going to be puking, you know, because they drank too much, you know. We want kids to come to an atmosphere that's cool, you know, it's cool to hang out here, uh, an atmosphere that's fun and energetic, um, an atmosphere that's positive, and uh, hopefully that will point them into the right direction in life. The way we attract kids to the fifth quarter is we get some fun, contemporary music, um, not anything hard, not anything melodramatic, just like U2, um, Smashing Pumpkins, things like that. We sing those songs. 
We have really, really funny skits that the kids can really laugh at the leaders at, and that's how we get them there. And then we really try to put a, a, a talk in, too, to really make them think about why they're here, challenge them. And then there's Wendy Gap. Wendy Gap Weekend is a weekend for about 400 high school kids around the South, the weekend we're going, to come together and to know more about who God is. The way it comes together is uh, they'll have a skit team, which would be Scott and I, come in and do skits every evening. They'll have a speaker that comes in and do, does five talks for the kids. They have extracurricular activities like horseback riding, a zip line, the blob, go-karts, ropes course. Just a, a weekend for them to have a lot of fun and be exposed to, to the gospel. That's what Wendy Gap is. Wendy Gap is just, it's an outreach camp. It's to reach out to those kids that haven't been touched before with the gospel. And uh, not only is there Wendy Gap, but Young Life has properties in uh, Colorado, Frontier Ranch, uh, has a property, two of them in New York, uh, Saranac and Lake Champion, has one in Canada, which is Malibu. And these camps are just incredible uh, tools, if you will, for the gospel. <laughs> So I just ask you this question, you know, what, <clears throat> what kind of things are you putting your hope in? What kind of things are you, um, you know, seeking out? What kind of tools in life are you going to to fulfill your needs? And are those needs being met? That's all I got. Uh, thanks. Dave, take it over. The guys or girls want to play, play ball, we're going to play ball. If you want to hang out, hang out. If you want to leave, you can leave. But we're just going to hang out here, so. Ego ball. We're done. Fifth quarter is great. It's a lot of fun, and um, the people that 